Are you tired of seeing the same old static lifeless portraits? Do you wish you could bring any portrait to life? Well, now you can. And today, I'm gonna show you how. Hello humans, my name is K, your air overload, and oh boy, I am back with a banger. Because today, I'm gonna show you an incredible new tool called the Life Portrait, that allows you to perfectly transform any portrait image into an animated talking image. Just upload a video of someone talking, and a source image, and it will then transfer the video onto the image giving you this absolutely amazing quality. Just, yeah, this is... This is insane. And with a bit of editing and RVC, you can give your character a new voice that fits perfectly. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do something like this from scratch. So that being said, sit back, relax, and let's go. And to install Life Portrait, you have two ways. The first is of course by using the one-click installer that is available for my Patreon supporters. Just download the files onto your computer. If you don't have FFmpeg installed already onto your computer, and it's not added to path, first make sure to run this file as an administrator so that it automatically install ffmpeg and once this is done you can double click on the live portrait onto install.bat file which will automatically install live portrait onto your computer and after a few minutes you should now see a local url that if you press ctrl then left click it will automatically launch the web ui in your browser ready to be used simple as that you don't need to do anything oh and also do not forget to put the launcher.bat file inside the live portrait folder so that the next time you want to launch Live Portrait, you can just double click on the launcher.bat file to start the web UI. And the second way to install this is of course the manual way. So first, make sure that you have Python, Git for Windows, and FFmpeg installed. Then you're gonna come to the Live Portrait GitHub page, click on this little button, and then click here to copy the URL. So then in your folder, you're gonna click on the folder path, type cmd, press enter, this will bring the command prompt window, and here you're gonna type git clone followed by the URL that we copied previously, which will then clone the repository onto our computer. So next, we're gonna go inside that folder, then create a virtual environment for Python, then activate that environment, Next, we're gonna install PyTorch with this command. Then we're gonna install the requirements. So then for the next step, I made things a little bit easier for you when it comes to models, so you can download them easily. But for this, you need to delete the pre-trained weights folder. So basically just select the folder and then press delete. So you can then click the link in the description down below. You're gonna arrive on my Hugging Face repository, where here you're gonna click on this little icon, then clone repository. Then here, you're gonna click on this little icon to copy this entire line. Then you're gonna paste this line right here. And then you're gonna do the same with the second line, so just copy and paste to automatically download all the models. And then finally, to launch the web UI, you're gonna type python app.py, which will then give you a local URL that if you click on it, it will open the web UI. And now we can finally have some fun. So then, how do we do this? Well, it is actually frighteningly easy. So first, you're gonna upload your source image. So for example, something like this. Then you're gonna upload your source video. I'm simply gonna be using like one of the examples right here. Now this one might seem a little silly, but it is actually a really good example of what is possible because that woman makes some very weird looking faces which really displays a huge range of motion, which is really, really good for this demo. So then you scroll down, you click on animation instructions and options. So here basically in the instructions it tells you what you need to do. Basically the only two checkboxes that you need to pay attention is this one, do crop source and do crop driving video. So basically if your source image is not a square, you need to enable this option. And if your driving video is not a square, you need to check this option as well. Now in our case, the driving video is a square. So we don't need to do anything, but I will show you later in the video an example of a video where we need to use this option. But basically for now the only thing that we need to do is just click on the button animate and wait for everything to be finished. Now surprisingly it actually doesn't really take a lot of VRAM to run, but it still uses a lot of computational power like RAM and CPU power to do the job. But don't worry even if you don't have a powerful computer, I will show you later in the video how to install this on RAMPod. So even if you don't have a powerful computer, you can rent a GPU for a few cents an hour and do the exact same thing, so that in the end we get something like this. Yeah, I mean, this is just crazy. And if you just look at the before and after, with the source image in the middle, I mean, the result is just absolutely insane. I mean, just absolutely incredible. Because the precision of the movement, and just like the overall quality of the generation, is really, really impressive. And once you're done, if you just want to save the video, you can just click on this little button, and it will download the video onto your computer. Okay, so now then, how do we actually take this further? How do we, for example, take a clip of someone talking, and then 
apply it to another person's face and then use another voice for the video so that the character talks in a custom voice. Now all you need to do is just do some very basic video editing so that you get a clip. So like for example, I get something like this. Weeks after President Biden's disastrous debate performance. Just a clip of a woman talking that I'm gonna put right here. Then here you're gonna put your source portrait image. Let's say I want this image of Donald Trump. Then here in the options, since our video is not cropped in a square, we need to enable this option this time and leave everything else by default. And now if I click animate, so that in the end we get something like this. Two weeks after President Biden's disastrous debate performance, he today faced the world's media in an appearance labeled make or break for his election campaign. So and yeah, there you go. This looks pretty good. Unfortunately, this is not the right voice. Although we still see Trump, we definitely still hear the voice of the woman. So how can we change that? Well, actually, if you separate the audio from the video with a very basic video editing tool, we can then use something like RVC to convert the audio into something else. And if you don't know what RVC is, and you don't know what I'm talking about, you should definitely watch my RVC video that I did a few months ago, because otherwise you're not gonna understand what's coming next. And basically from this it is very very simple. Basically just select your Trump voice that you downloaded somewhere else, decrease the transpose value a little bit to maybe something like minus 7, then here enter the path of the audio file, you can leave everything else by default, and then click convert. And then after a few seconds, you will get something like this. Who wakes up to President Biden's disastrous debate performance, he today faced the world's media in an appearance labeled make or break for his election campaign. So, did he make it? Or did he break it? And yeah, that definitely sounded a little bit better. And in the end, once you've put the video and audio together, it should give you something like this. Who wakes up to President Biden's disastrous debate performance, he today faced the world's media in an appearance labeled make or break for his election campaign. So, did he make it? Or did he break it? I mean, yeah, there you go. The results are pretty crazy. Now, obviously, you can do this with every character you want. You can do it with cartoon voices, non-realistic portraits. You have here a bunch of examples that you can use. But yeah, I mean, just from a single image and a video, you get some very, very interesting and very cool results. Now, don't worry, even if you don't have a powerful computer to run a live portrait, I will show you how to use RunPod to do the exact same thing. Now, first, all you have to do if you don't have a RunPod account, just click the link in the description down below and create a new account on RunPod, then click on Deploy. Then, to save money, you're gonna select Community Cloud and then scroll down until you see the RTX 3090, so select it. Then, click Change Template. Make sure that you have selected RunPod PyTorch 2.1 and then click Deploy on demand. Then you're gonna click my pods, wait for everything to be installed, then you're gonna click connect, connect to Jupyter Lab, and then here if you are one of my Patreon supporters, this is gonna be very easy for you because I made a one-click installer for you to use, so just drag and drop the run pod installer inside the workspace right here, then click on this little terminal icon, and then copy and paste these two lines of code that you will find in the Patreon post, and then press enter. And it will install Live Portrait automatically. And once this is done, in the end, you should get a public URL that, if you click on it, will open the web UI as if it was running on your local computer. Simple as that. You really don't need to do anything. But don't worry, I will also show you how to do it the manual way. Okay, so first what you want to do is to click on this terminal icon, then before doing anything, we're gonna install FFmpeg with the two commands, apt get update and apt get install yffmpeg, then we're gonna clone the repository, then go inside the folder, then we're gonna install the requirements, then just like for the local install, we're gonna delete the pre-trained waste folder, then we're gonna install git lsf with these three commands, then we're gonna download the model's repository, and then finally we're gonna launch the web UI with the command python app.py dash dash share. So that once again, in the end, you get a public URL that if you click on it, will launch the web UI ready to be used. Used. And there you go. Now you can finally have some fun. Select an image, then the video, and then click animate. And in the end you get something like this. Yeah, that's... <laughs> that's that's kind of weird, but hey, at least it works. Oh, and also what's really cool is that maybe very, very soon, we might be able to actually use a source videos instead of a simple image. So basically, we'll be able to merge two videos together. Like, for example, look at this. You have like a video of a woman and a video of a man. And when you put them all together, you get something like this, which is just insane. I mean, look at this. You have here a woman with an open mouth looking to the side and a video of a man smiling. And when you put all of them together, you have a man smiling 
playing with an open mouth, looking to the side. I mean, this is just absolutely insane. And this should probably come in the next few days. So maybe by the time that you're watching this video, you might be able to use a video instead of an image for the source. So yeah, this live portrait software has a lot of potential. Oh, and also don't forget that I provide priority support for my Patreon supporters. So if you have any questions whatsoever, do not hesitate to send me a DM and I will try to answer your question as soon as possible. The link for my Patreon will be in the description down below. So yeah, there you go. This was Live Portrait, an absolutely amazing software that allows you to generate an absolutely amazing array of portrait from a video source. And really, with this technology, the sky is the limit, especially when the ability to use a video as a source will be made available. So once we have that, this is going to be very, very fun. So yeah, there you go. Definitely try this out yourself and have some fun. And there we are with folks. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Thank you also so much to my Patreon supporters for supporting my videos. You guys are absolutely awesome. You people are the reason why I'm able to make these videos. So thank you so much. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.